Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general reading energy check-in uh, for the zodiac sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the end of uh, August going into September. Uh, we are going to take a look at your over energies, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect for the end of August, and then we will see what the possible outcome and events are. So keep in mind this could mean anything, love, romance, relationships, friendships, family, um, career, finances, personal development, spiritual development, we'll just see what the cards pick up before you, uh, we get started. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on new videos that post onto my channel. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Uh, share this video with someone. If you feel like there is someone out there that you know that needs to hear this, leave a comment down in the comments section below. If this message resonated, those of you that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. All right, let's get started, Taurus. Over energy for Taurus. What is surrounding Taurus? What does Taurus need to know? What can Taurus expect for the end of August going into September? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for uh, Taurus. Seven of Pentacles. We have the Magician. All right, Gemini energy, Virgo energy. All right, Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Three of Cups. Two of Wands. King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. So you might have that in your chart or you're dealing with someone that has that in their chart. Um, all right, the Six of Pentacles. I mean, we have someone here that got hurt and walked away. I feel like someone here has been very generous with their energy with someone and I feel like there is this energy of not coming, this was not coming back around to someone. Mm. All right, we have the Ten of Swords and the Devil card on the bottom of the deck. So someone got hurt here. Someone got hurt here. Someone was stressed out. Uh, 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 just uh, being around someone that was toxic here. I feel like someone here tried to make a relationship work. Someone was investing, someone was put the, putting all their energy in, into this, but it just seemed like it just didn't work. It just didn't work. It seems like in the process, someone got hurt here. Someone got hurt in the process of doing that. Right, why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Seven of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. I mean, I feel like someone here was being patient. Someone here was being very, very patient. And I just feel like someone just... threw it in someone's face. Why is this a magician here? 
the magician and the page of pentacles so capricorn taurus virgo energy why is this three of cups here look at that there was a major 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 betrayal could have been a third party situation too I mean, I feel like you were uncomfortable with, with this person the whole time, but at the same time, I feel like you were still optimistic that this would work out, uh, Taurus. Why is this a two of wands here? We have the Emperor, Aries energy. Why is this King of Cups here? We have the world, Capricorn energy, Taurus. Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius energy. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? And Justice, Libra energy. I feel like someone gave so much, it just became very imbalanced. And I feel like this had to happen in order for you, in order for this, for this situation to balance out again. Uh, we have the Chariot, the Ten of Cups. You know, the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. It seemed like this never real. I mean, it feel it feels like this sort of sort of went towards something like this, a ten of pentacles, a four of wands, uh, but it just it could have been going towards that, but it, it it just it just stopped in its tracks because it was just some stuff going on. Taurus, I just feel like you were uncomfortable the whole time. Yeah, I feel like you were uncomfortable the whole time. I feel like you were, you were getting intuitive hits from the universe or something like that. You know, letting you know that something was wrong here. But I feel like um, maybe someone here didn't listen. So Taurus, this could, have been you. this could be someone that you're dealing with. So feel free to apply this to your own unique situation. Switch the roles if you want. The roles could be flipped in reverse. Uh, but it, it, it seems like there's this energy of sort of like moving on from this situation or that this, 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 this basically has closed out. I feel like there was this energy of feeling stuck all the time, feeling like we're not good enough because things were not working out. I felt, I feel like there was this uh, energy of trying over and over and over and over again. And it was just, it was met with like a lot of failure. Um, I mean, Taurus, you were just with someone that didn't want to work with you or cooperate with you. Outcome and advice here for Taurus regarding their situation. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for Taurus here. For the end of August, going into September. Four of Cups, Three of Cups showing up again, Nine of Cups, Two of Wands showing up again here. We have the Devil, Capricorn Energy showing up again. We have the Three of Swords showing up again. A lot, a lot of the same cards showing up. And then we have the Page of Cups here. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces Energy. I mean, someone here is coming to apologize because they, they don't want to miss an opportunity uh, with an empress here. So we have an empress to an empress. So this is a true pair. I mean, I'm feeling like someone doesn't want anyone else but you. I mean, someone here was probably exploring other options. But I feel like there is this energy of reuniting with their wish fear. But I feel like someone here does not want to be stuck with the devil. Someone doesn't want to get hurt again. All right, why is this Three of Cups here? Tell me about this Three of Cups. Why is this Three of Cups here? Three of Cups and Eight of Swords. Why is this Nine of Cups here? So I'm feeling like someone here is going to try and apologize. 
someone here is trying to get, gonna try and apologize. So the person does that, that doesn't want to miss out on an opportunity is this empress. What this emperor? Or vice versa. Feel free to switch the roles if you want. Why is this uh, two of wands here? Two of wands and a ton of cups. Why is this devil here? The devil and the king of pentacles. Why is this Three of Swords here? Strength, Leo energy. Why is this Page of Cups here? So I grabbed two Page of Cups with the Page of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. So we have the King to the Queen of Pentacles, Emperor to the Empress. I mean, we have someone here that regrets blowing this up. Regrets hurting someone. Regrets causing a lot of drama here. Causing a lot of strife. Not cooperating. I mean, we have the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups here. So we have pairs here. We have pairs. So I'm feeling like there's this energy of someone here... It's basically paranoid that someone here has hidden agendas because they're coming back. I am just feeling like someone here knows that this is never going to reach a Ten of Cups. I mean, someone here is slowly, you know, is slowly putting themselves back together here and does not want to deal with this other person. I also feel like the whole time you've been with this person, you've never been comfortable with this person. This person could have been controlling. This person was stressing me out. This person was overwhelming. They were too much. Um, they were probably making a lot of promises that they didn't keep. There's also this energy feeling like you weren't good enough because maybe this person talked down to you. I mean, there is major pain in this connection. There is major betrayal here. Like I said, could have been a third party situation. You could be dealing with a toxic narcissistic individual here. So Taurus, if this resonated, give this video a thumbs up. Um, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this if you haven't done so yet. Uh, subscribe, ring the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.